Hi you guys! I am so excited about today's video because this is like years and years and years in the making. So who remembers the blue Dritz needle organizer that they discontinued? I feel like I got mine right on the tail end of them being available. I showed it for a couple times in videos that I was working on and then no one could get it anymore. People fell in love with it and then couldn't get it. Um, and then like a couple years after that, I found the little Madam So pillow that you like put your needles into and that didn't really, it wasn't the same. It's not the same, but I have found not one, but two new options for needle organizers that are very similar to the one that Dritz used to offer, but even kind of better in a way. Um, here they are. Both of them are from Colonial Needle and I'm gonna open up each one and I don't know, kind of explore them with you. I've never seen these before. I literally just ordered them got them in the mail, thinking, hoping, praying, oh my god, I hope this is, this is very, very close, um, and so we're about to find out together, but I think, I think it's going to be good. Okay, so this one is the Machine Needle Pack 2, the other one is Machine Needle Pack 1, I don't know why I'm going backwards, but welcome to my life, and you have this cutie little pouch with like this, I mean, really pretty kind of design on it, um, it opens up here, and then the back falls down, so that's how you have it. I think you could probably also go this. Oh, yes, you can. And then it Velcros. <laughs> it's so cute. How about the pattern matching? <laughs> that's not bad. Okay, but the whole point of this thing is we have our types of needles going down the side. And this is like quilted. It's like plush. And then we have the sizes going across here. So you would take your needle case your needle cases go in here. One, I think there's eight of them. Yeah. You can put eight cases of needles in here, right? You can take the one out of your machine because what I like to do and why the needle organizers are so helpful is when I put in a brand new needle and I like make one garment with it, I'm like, okay, it's been used, but it's not dead yet. And if I need to switch out for my next project, I'm like, I don't want to throw this away. Needles are expensive but I can't put it back in the case that it came in because then I won't remember that I already used it. So I want to store it somewhere where it tells me, okay, if I use this, it'll be my second use. And then after that is probably done. Um, so with this, you could take your machine needle and you could store them in here, right? So you'd leave the packs here and then you'd use one for a project and then you're gonna go switch out to a different needle. You take that one out of your machine and you put it in here. And then over time, you'd have a whole bunch of them that you would have used one time and then here's your, your second time in here. This little pen is intended to mark what's in your machine right now, but you just stab this little thing in here and I guess it works kind of like a needle would. You want it to kind of go sideways because it can go through. It can go through the back. There's not any plastic or in there. You can also go sideways and out. I don't know. You can store it in there however you want. Um, but yeah, this one's really compact. Like I said, um, oh, actually, this one down here is bigger for the for the ones that are multi-packs. That's really thoughtful. So you have six single packs and then room for one multi-pack. And then you fold it all up. And it goes like this. Great little thing for traveling. No? Really cute. Really cute. Okay, so yeah, like I said, that's Machine Noodle Pack 2. Okay, and then, yeah, it says the same stuff on the back. So if you want to screenshot that, that's what it is. Okay, Machine Noodle Pack 2. Very cute. Very handy. Um, I also did see on their website, I want to mention really quickly, that they have the same thing for hand sewing needles. So if you're into um, like needles for needle point, <laughs> I don't know what those things are. You, you, they have a, they have one of those, one of these for that, one of each of these for that as well. It's not just sewing machine needles. It's also hand sewing needles if you needed that. Okay. So this is needle pack, no number, a compact caddy for machine needles. So here it is. Um, it comes attached to this thing with like tacky, you know, that tacky stuff, but it doesn't stick. Um, and this one's, this one's, okay, 
intense is leather bound can you see that or probably pleather bound um it's definitely not as cute <laughs> but same idea with the folding up like this and then you pin it down like that and then yeah they're the design is pretty much the same except this one you have sleeves up here that are see-through that's different from that other one this is all these are all see-through and then you have like this much space for each of these so yeah you can put your machine needle pack hold on this one comes with needles too the other one did not come with needles so you can put your machine needle pack in there i think you can only fit one yeah and maybe it's even meant to be laid down um you can lay them down like that so they're in there nice and good and then same deal with the ballpoint needle, a ballpoint pen to mark what you've got now. Um, so you just want to slide it behind. There's like two layers here. And you want to slide it behind. This is not cushy. There's no quilting in here at all. It's just two layers of like plastic kind of. Um, and then if we want to do what the needles look like in there. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that we just use this needle in our sewing machine. So I just took this out of my machine and I'm gonna find universal size 70 and I'm going to slide this in there. Okay, yeah, that's really interesting. So there's 70 and let me, let me see what it's like when we put more in there. So they fit next to each other cause there's no 75, but you could probably only do every other hole for this. So if you go to 90, you'd have to come down here to use a 90. Oh, these are, sorry, I'm trying to figure out. These are twin needles. These are twin needles that didn't have that. Obviously this is meant for you to like write in yourself what extra needles you have and then use those things for that. But I don't think you're storing like 50 universal needles here, right? You're really only using them once because then once you take out, like, let's say I put in a stretch needle for my neck. I used universal size 70 the first time, and then I swapped it out for a stretch needle size 70, took the universal one out, put it in here. Then when I take the stretch one out and replace it with like a denim needle, that's going to go in here. And then eventually I'm going to use the universal 70 again, and I'm just going to take it from here and put it in my machine. So you really don't need like a ton of space to do, to put needles. Um, just one for each type, which I think that there's plenty of space here to do that. This one um, does not have, oh, it does have twin needles, but it's just the same size as everything else. This one also has lots more options. Um, in addition to the, the usual ones, it also has um, leather, metallic, uh, quilting, sharps uh top stitch and wing never even heard of wing it has those and then if you have anything outside of this there's not one there's not an option for you so if you use a lot of like maybe specialty needles that would be this would be the best option if you use more of the general ones this would be the best option yeah i think you're definitely going to be able to fit more of them in here because imagine if you went diagonal like that okay and then this is size 70 universal 70 right here so this would go in here like this yeah so you could probably get two of them in there like if you were taking them out of your serger you could fit two of them in here for sure this one probably only one per type per size but i think these are like really 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 close to what we had before um and the best that i've seen on the market yet for for um organizing your machine needles i love that they are they close up that's actually even better than the dritz one because the dritz everything was just open it was just like a plastic board kind of um so they close up you can easily travel with this if you wanted to take it um especially actually the hand sewing ones if you do that and you like to do that when you travel the one of these for that would be perfect um but for sewing it would be great to take to class especially if you don't know what you're gonna be making in class and you just want to have an assortment of needles um 
or if you're taking some kind of class that's like, you know, how to use all the functions on your sewing machine and you needed a variety of needles to do that, you could do that here. Or obviously if you're just using it at home, you stick it here, put it in your desk drawer or, you know, anywhere in your sewing room and they are cute and compact and highly functional. So I hope that helps fill the void of machine needle organizers that we've all felt for years and years and years once they took the other one away. Um, these are super good options and, um, and yeah, happy to show you guys what's available out there now to get your machine needles organized. I have a link in the description box where you can grab these. Any questions you have about how to use them or if you want to see more needles in them or whatever it is, just leave them in the comments. Um, and yeah, that's going to do it for me today. But thank you, Colonial Needle, for offering not one, but two different machine needle organizing options. We've needed this. So thank you. All right. Happy shopping.